welcome back. It's week five. So here it goes. Get off the scale. It doesn't tell you a thing. In fact, it even lies to you. So let me tell you how it goes. So you get on the scale, and we get on the scale because we want validation. We're girls. And maybe the guys want it too. I don't know. But we're looking to say, did we do the right things? Are we going to get the reward? Which is, instead of a dog getting a bone, we want to see the number on the scale. So let's say you've been flawless for the week. You nailed your water. You nailed your protein. You ate all your fruits and vegetables. You had a beautiful week, and the scale didn't move. Immediately, your brain takes over, and you're like, I'm going to Dairy Queen, and I'm getting anything I want because it didn't work. So what you didn't know is perhaps you were dehydrated and you replenished your lean mass and you really lost five pounds, but you didn't have all the information to make a good decision. So let's look at it the other way. Let's say you had a bad week. You made a few mistakes here, you missed a meal there, you stalled the engine, you didn't get your water, but you get on the scale and you said you lost three pounds. So you pat yourself on the back and say, wow, I did great. I don't have to eat, right? I don't have to do the steps. See, I'm smarter than that. I'm smarter than what the nutrition says, and that's why you get in trouble. Because it's about not changing a silly number on a scale and not even getting validation from a scale. It's about saying, am I making a better version of myself? And the only way you're going to know is to know what percentage is good mass, bone density, organs, water, and muscle, and what percent is fluff. And that's what we're going to work on. Tune in next week. I have so much to share with you.